this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like behind the scenes when you post an invoice with non-inventory parts on it. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into create invoices here and I'm going to select just any old job, ignore those pop-ups and I'm going to choose an item. Notice how it does tell me inventory part, not an inventory part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose some electrical materials for this customer and I'm going to say quantity of five and it's going to be $10 each and we'll leave it as out of state for right now so it's non-taxable. Okay, so what is, happens behind the scenes when this shows up? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this for now. Okay, it's warning me I changed my tax item. That's fine. For now, I don't want a future, uh, I don't want to focus on sales tax. Okay, so I'm going to click this journal here. This is going to show me behind the scenes what are the debits and credits that are going on with this transaction. So now you can see here, it tells me the invoice type, tells me which accounts it's hitting. So understanding accounting, when you create an invoice, it's going to hit accounts receivable. It's going to debit accounts receivable. So accounts receivable is going to go up. And then it's also going to credit materials income. So the income account goes up. So income account, notice how it's a credit. So you think that that doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to go up, but income has a natural credit balance. So when you credit income, it's actually going up as well. So the on the balance sheet, again, accounts receivable goes up by $50, and on the profit and loss, income goes up by $50. So that is the result of posting an invoice with non-inventory items on the invoice.